Yo, you guys, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you will be notified every Thursday when I drop a new tutorial. Now, today, as you guys know, man, we have another dope tutorial that I have coming for you guys. But before we get into today's tutorial, I just want to take the time out of my day to tell you guys that I appreciate you guys a lot for supporting my channel and, you know, sharing my channel with other new upcoming videographers and everybody else, man. Thank you guys so much for everything. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to add that glow effect outside of your mask. Yeah, that effect right there that just happened. Everybody in my DM this week has been wanting to know about that effect, so I got it coming for you guys. That glow outline effect that you guys are wondering about, it can be located on maxine.net, which is also known as Red Giant Universe. I guess they partnered with them sometime um, towards the middle of last year. But yeah, man, what you would do is you would go up to products and go to universe. You would scroll down. And these are all the plugins that they offer the universe generators, universe effects. And under the universe effects tab, we have the ecto effect, which is the glow outline that you guys can use for your masking effects. Now, another dope site that a lot of people know about is called videocopilot.net. On videocopilot.net, they have a plugin that's called Sabre. I've been using Sabre for, since the middle of 2019, I found out about it through my guy Max Novak. But yeah, man, Sabre is a free plugin. It's 100% free. And um, all you have to do is go on videocopilot.net, find the Sabre plugin, and download it. It downloads to PCs, as you can see, and MacBooks. Well, you know, Windows and Apple products. So yeah, man, now that I've put you guys on some imported gems for today, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, man, as you guys can see, we're in Premiere Pro with two clips. Now, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but for my second tutorial, I dropped a tutorial on how to do the masking effect with the Premiere Pro and After Effects. But you know, like I was telling you guys, I like to do my masking in After Effects because it's 10 times faster and 10 times easier. So that's what we're gonna do today. So boom, man, like I was saying, you go to the first, the first frame of the second clip, boom, go over one frame cut it select it duplicate it boom and i'm gonna make this about 10 frames so i will hit the sh uh, i will hold shift and hit the right arrow key two times to create 10 frames one two that's 10 frames drag it out then i will you know extend my timeline then i will bring this over to make that clip connect to the first frame of the second clip then i will right click on it go to replace with after effects composition Yes, sir, man. I love masking and after effects. It is the best thing ever, man. When I first started masking with the um, Premiere Pro, I was like, man, it's gotta be a faster way. And then, you know, that came after, well, after fix was already around, but I learned how to do it with an after fix. But enough of the talking, man. Let's get back into this tutorial, you know. So boom, I would just name this file Skate, um, boom, boom, free game. That's the name of the video, by the way, that we shot last weekend. So boom, once this pops up, I will right click on the clip, go to time, go to freeze frame, boom. So now, as you can see, this clip is frozen. It's turned into a still frame. Okay, so boom, I hit command and a plus to zoom in. Hit G to access the pen tool, and I will begin my masking. You know, y'all guys know how I am about time, man. So, I'll make this pretty fast. I ain't gonna make it perfect. Let me just show you guys how to do it. And you can access the Ecto plugin. Because once you download Red Giant, man, Red Giant is in After Effects and Premiere Pro. So, you can either, after you get done with the masking, you could either put the plugin on the clip with an After Effects or you could just save the masking clip and then just add it on in Premiere Pro. But I'm going to do it in After Effects. That way I can kill two birds and one stone. So, as you guys can see, we are masking. Boom. Almost done here. Boom. 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 Ah. Let 
Boom, so as you guys can see, let me hit command and uh, subtract. As you guys can see, man, we have our mask. Um, I'll just add a little feather on there, probably change the feather to like three. Boom. So as you guys can see, we have the mask. Let me sure that's still up. Okay, we're good. Now you will go over to your effects and uh, presets tab, boom, and you will type in Ecto. And as you can see, it popped up, Uni Ecto, that's Universe Ecto. You will drag that onto the clip. And boom, there you guys go, man. You have your outline. As you guys can see, um, you can go to choose preset. Hello. Okay, as you guys can see, they have different ones like goals. Um, I want to say that's Baja Blast, Baja Blast, Castle Buyers Drives, Film Grow Flame, Outlines Flames, Ghost Wind. They just have a lot of them, man. It's really dope. But normally I'll just, you can use any one you want to, but normally I use Flame Outlines. And I'll just go with the original plugin that they put on there once you drag the effect on top of the clip. But yeah, man, once you um drag that on there, you exit out at the top, save your mask. Take you back into Premiere Pro. Let me see, it's gonna pop up in a minute. Take some time. Well, this is what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and render that little piece out. Go to sequence, render it out. <sighs> boom, boom. So as you guys can see, man, Boom, there you go. If this tutorial was helpful to you guys in any kind of way, please make sure that you leave a comment down below. And also, man, comment some effects down below that you would want me to do. You know, give me some more ideas, you guys. And like I said in the beginning, if you are new here, please make sure that you guys subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I drop tutorials every Thursday at 4 o'clock, so just be on the lookout, man. Also, man, make sure that you guys follow my Instagram, man. On there, you can stay updated with me and keep Keep up with me on everything that I'm dropping as far as like music videos, new snippets of music videos, and also these tutorials that I'm also putting out every Thursday. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And within just three weeks of doing these tutorials, man, we have jumped from here to here to the following. You know what I'm saying? That's 117 followers. So I just want to say once again, thank you guys for your support, your love. If you know somebody that's trying to get into video editing, man, send them my way. And even like if they just want to know something about the camera, tell them to follow me on Instagram and DM me, man. No cap. I'm all about helping everyone. I'm all about seeing everybody grow. But like I said, man, thank you guys for tuning in to today's tutorial. And like I say every episode, man, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And that's what's going on, man, in the shootout.